Hey guys, Rune Truster here with Mission Forge, and today we're back at it, video number three, working on our forge press. If you didn't see the last videos, I'll put the links for the first and second video in the description below. The first video being, uh, we went ahead and added a different switch, so that way we can go hands-free with this, or if we didn't want to use the pedal, we can use the button again. Second video is making the foot pedal to operate both the switch and the ram here. Uh, we saw a little trial and error going on there. We went with the wire. And now this video is, is we're going to be making the actual posts and uh, press and the press pieces, so that way we can actually forge uh, press and turn this into a forge press. Now the thing though is, I want to be able to convert it back to a log splitter. So I got to make everything removable. So that's exactly what's going to happen. So here what I'm going to do first is I'm going to I'm going to weld up, do a the actual wedge portion first. So I'm gonna weld up three uh, sections over here. And it's gonna be three inch pieces that I'm gonna weld up. Then I ordered a big <laughs> square tubing I gotta cut. Um, and then I'll weld that to those triangle that I made and that'll fit in there. Um, and then I'll do this side here. And then I'll have some uh, angle iron so I can make it so I can slice and dies into place. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting that out to the size I need and then uh, weld it all together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is now I gotta weld this up. So I got the back piece here, just a little longer than three inches so it sticks out the sides here. And then I got another piece that I cut out so it's just a little longer than the point. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna weld the uh, the one plate to this, and I'm going to use this as you know uh, the, the the actual. Uh, I'm going to uh, use this as kind of like a guide, so that way I know you know approximately how what angle it needs to be at and all that fun jazz. So. And then I'm gonna weld it up on this side, then I'll weld it up on, then I'll cut the next piece and it'll probably go slightly past this piece here. Okay. So I'll have to grind this down a little bit though, because then the next piece I cut is gonna actually overlap it. Uh, but right now, let me get this uh, welded on. So I got this completely welded up here, all three corners here. And actually, my welding capabilities have improved a lot since I first started welding because they're, they're pretty good welds. Um, after I got this welded up, it's still hot. I hit the corners back here with um, a flat disc for my grinder. And because I already used this on some of the wood and stuff, the front here, it's no paint. That way it doesn't stick because now, it goes all the way down. So, uh, no, that's good there. Now, the only thing I need to do now is, hot, is um, I need to get tube that I'm gonna use, cut it to the length I need. Once I get cut to the length I need, I gotta cut a little triangle out of it, and then I gotta weld that to this. So I'm gonna have to clean all this up as well on the sides here. Then I weld the tube up to this here, so that way, this is attached to the tube. All right, so I'm kind of showing you what I'm doing here. So there is the tube here, and um, this is my second attempt at it. This is a lot hotter than it looks, but I'm gonna have to get that in there like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld it up. Um, it's okay that it doesn't go right to the bottom because, you know, I mean, the uh, this is actually wider than the uh, tube here, but nonetheless, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna weld it up. Uh, I'm gonna weld it up here, and then I'll flip it around, weld it up on, about on the back side, and then do along the edges here as best as I can. I mean, there's quite a significant gap, but hopefully, it won't be too bad. 
Um, I'm going to make sure I do some good thick beads and all that stuff so I can really reinforce that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to really show you all that, just explaining what I'm doing. All right, as you can see, I got it welded on. I'm going to have to pound it off, though. I had to kind of sort of pound it on so it goes all the way to the bottom. Um, but, you know, that's here, here or there. Next, I got to take a three-piece, a three-inch piece, uh, three -inch piece uh, and weld it onto here so I have a cap. And once I get that welded on, I'm going to then weld on little L brackets to the side here so I can have a quick change die thing. I may add a small lip at the bottom here so the die doesn't rub up against the bottom here. And that includes with this piece of conveyor here. Okay guys, so we got the rear um, piece uh, completely done. Um, so, kind of just talk briefly on what I did, and I'm sorry if it's bad lighting. Um, I went ahead and welded on a three, three inch piece here on the front of the square tube like I said I did, and then I put on some one inch by quarter inch by one eighth inch thick Actually, it's one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch by eight inch, uh, 90 degree uh, steel here. Um, and then on the back side, just a small little piece of steel on the bottom of this. So that way when I make my dies here, put this back on the wedge, I can slide this in and it won't go any further than that little piece down there. Um, so this is done. Now I gotta start working on the front side here. You can't probably see it in the camera, but I already took the plate off here. Um, I just gotta cut the tube out. I'm gonna fit it through here, mark where the holes are at on this here, drill them so that way I can uh, uh, attach this to the tube. I'm gonna have to put some kind of wedge in, in between them because this is, uh, the tube's a little thinner than the space in between here. And then do the same thing, weld on a square piece in the front, put on the uh, little uh, 90 degrees here, a little uh, thing on the bottom so for the dies, and then I will be completely done building this thing. So fingers crossed I'll get done here within the next couple hours. side pieces they're just three inch three sixteenths of an inch thick uh, pieces and then I welded all four sides on here but I had to put the back plate on first so that this is welded to the back plate um, I already cleaned up the welds and everything like that I actually didn't do a half bad job I'm getting better so that way now it will have room it's hot. to go in here oh, I can't do this with while this is hot I'll probably clean up some of the paint off of this but that is warm. But it goes in there. And then what I'm gonna do is, next I'm gonna mark where I want the holes to be. And I'm gonna drill through these holes so I can bolt, um, you know, uh, bolt it on. Now what I may do because of how long this is, um, bolting this on is gonna be next to impossible because of the um, getting a, a wrench in here with a screw or something like that, or not a screw, but a, a wrench 
I'm going to drill this out and I'm going to try to thread them so that way I can just screw the bolts on directly to it um, and that should hold that in place. Then got to put a front cap on here and two 90s and then this piece will be completely done. So what I'm going to do right now is while I still got all my hot crap on, weld up the uh, front cap and the angle iron and then we should be good to go on that and then I can move on to uh, this. In case you're wondering how I welded this, uh, where nowhere to clamp it, because there's there's no hole on this, nothing like that for the clamp to go on to. What I did was is I got a piece of flat stock, you know, just mild steel, cleaned it off, get the mill scale, set this on top of it, clamped this down, and it this was flat on it, it wasn't tilted aside like that, and that worked. So that's what I ended up doing. Gotta line this up real quick, and then I'm gonna mark where the other hole's gotta go. Moment of truth. Now I gotta buy the bolts for this yet, so these are just gonna work in its place instead. And I still gotta make the dies, but just to see if everything works. Okay. And we just hold up that because that's one to pull it. Fantastic. <laughs> no, I can't let it pinch this too much because it dies in. 